Have you ever wondered how to get your vocals sounding like they were processed by a professional? Well, today I'm going to be showing you how I process my vocals. Welcome back to Inverse Audio, my name's 5X, and we've got yet another heavily requested video for you today. If you've enjoyed the video, then please give it a like, subscribe to the channel for more content, and leave a comment with what you want to see on the channel next. And without any further ado, let's get right in the video. Okay, so this is the project that I've prepared for today's video. All it is, it's just a, a basic dance floor beat. And then I have vocals, um, which I'll show you after this as well. But yeah, it's really simple. It's just an atmosphere with like a mid bass and some super basic drums. And then I've gone ahead and sourced some vocals uh, from Vocalify. And if you haven't heard of Vocalify before, uh, it's a really great website to get your vocals from. Everything on there is super high quality and royalty free. You can find some, you know, really great vocals for a decent price. Uh, they're not overused either. You can also use code Inverse Audio 10 for 10% off your purchase. So once you download the vocals, you will not only get the dry version of the vocals, you'll get a wet version, which is processed, and then a completely blank version if you want to just do everything yourself from scratch. And there's also some vocal chops, and you get the lyrics as well. I've gone ahead and used the unprocessed vocals uh, for today's video so it would most closely simulate what you would have if you worked with a vocalist. If you are getting your vocals from Splice, they, were they will already be processed. Even the dry versions will have compression and EQ applied to them already, most likely. But let me play you what we have. I've been running, but I can't no longer. I've been struggling and my head gets stronger. Take it on and you will get this greatness. So as we can hear already in the audio, there's quite a few issues that we need to fix. Obviously, apart from the levels, the obvious things. There's like a big sub bass. It might be the room noise that we're hearing. That is because I have turned up the vocals quite a bit. Um, because they were very quiet, so I've just turned them up by about minus 13 decibels. So, let's get started with the vocal processing. So, the first way I'm going to be showing you is all the plugins that I would use. Now, you know, some of these do get pretty pricey, but I will also be showing you how to process your vocals with stock and free plugins afterwards as well. The way I usually start processing my vocals is by doing one layer at a time then just copying over the plugins. So for right now, I'm just going to take this uh, dub L. So it's the main dub left. Uh, and then there's a right one as well, which we are going to pan left and right like this. I've been running, but I can't no longer. I've been struggling. Well, let's just focus on one of these for now. I've been running, but I can't so first of all, the first thing that I'm going to do is apply that EQ and remove the lows that's so apparent here. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. The second thing that I always do is probably compression. So the first round of compression, what I try and do is if you don't understand compression, what you're trying to do is basically level out the volumes of your loud bits to get them to sound quieter and just so everything's a uniform level. So if you can imagine that what you're trying to do is, for example, you've got this loud section here. All you're trying to do is try and turn it down like so. And then if you've got any quieter bits, you're trying to turn those up as well to get a nice and uniform level. So I'm going to put my marker here. And what we're going to try and do with this first compressor is lower the threshold until we can see those loudest bits catching through the threshold. I can't be suppressed. I've been running, but I can't get weaker. I've been struggling to hear you speak up. Take it off when you want it. So as you can see there, I'm probably going to go for a heavier ratio for the first round compression. So anywhere between three to four. I can't be so and I'm going to want to have the attack quite low just so I can catch every one of those clicks and there's not too much punch being let through. We're not trying to do that with a bit of a faster release as well. So probably about 100 to 150-ish. I can't be suppressed. I've been running but I can't get weaker. I've been struggling to hear you speak up. Take it off when you want it. This greatness I'm containing. I can't be suppressed. Okay, so the third step that I would usually do when it comes to processing my vocals is a de-esser. I like using the r de by Waves. I can't be suppressed. I've been so if you don't know what de-essing is, you're basically just trying to get rid of the harsh 
S's. And just eliminate any sibilance. So I'm just going to turn down the threshold until I can see the attenuation going down when the S sounds are being made. I can't be suppressed. I've been running, but I can't get weak up. I've been struggling to hear you speak up. Okay, that sounds pretty good. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is apply an EQ. And this time we're just going to be balancing the vocals, so making some reductions. And maybe having some higher peaks as well. I can't be suppressed. I've been running, but I can't get weaker. I've been so, for example, this vocal is a little bit on the mid side, like it's it's a bit mid heavy. I can't be suppressed. I've been running, but I can't get weaker. And we're I've still getting a lot of that sibilance through, so I'm gonna lower that as well. I can't be suppressed. I've been running, but I can't get weaker. I've been struggling. And we're actually gonna make this dynamic as well to only let through on those S's. And then we're going to automate this, the level, sorry. I can't be suppressed, I've been running but I can't get weak up. I've been struggling to hear you speak up. Take it over, you won't see this greatness I'm containing. I can't be suppressed. Well, I've also just noticed there's quite a lot of white noise in the background of the recording of the room, like the room noise. So one plugin I like to use is NS1 by Waves again. Uh, it's a very simple plugin. You just turn up the noise suppressor and it eliminates some of the background noise. I can't be suppressed. I've been running. Although you don't want to go too heavy because then it will start eating away at the vocal. I can't be suppressed. I've been running, but I can't get weak up. I've been struggling to hear you speak up. So next, I'm going to apply an F6 RTA. And there's this preset that I really like in here for just cleaning up the vocals in general. Um, It's literally just the preset's called vocal cleaner now. You know, you might want to make the argument of you know doing everything from scratch because every vocal is different but i like the sound this produces on my vocals so i'm i'm gonna stick with it as i have done for quite a while now I can't be suppressed. I'm in and then another non-negotiable this is like my secret sauce when it comes to vocals is you're going to want to load up c6 by waves again and if you go into the Ke ken pooch uh, presets the ken Pooch vocal. I can't be suppressed. I've been running, but I can't. It's just a multi band EQ slash compression, and I'm just gonna A B it so you can hear the difference. I can't be suppressed. I can't be suppressed. I'm it just brings out the vocal a lot further into the mix, and I really like it. Another plugin that does that really well, and I use all the time, is Gem Dopamine. It's just a compressor slash like noise reduction module, uh, and all you do is you just really turn up the wet, and the further you bring it up, it's just gonna slam the vocals to the front. I can't be suppressed. I've been running, but I can't get weaker. I've been struggling. I hear. Yeah, well, this vocal is very breathy. So if that's something that you might not want, what you can do is, you, this is a few options. You can either A, very meticulously remove the breaths. I can't be suppressed. I'm uh, right here is where we're looking. So yeah, you could literally just fade these out. Get weaker. I've been struggling to hear. And you might hear the gap when the whole song's playing. It won't really be that noticeable. I'm just going to leave them in for the sake of, you know, this tutorial. I don't have the most time. And then one of the last things that I add would be something like an iVox, which is once again a compression, but I just love the way this sounds. I've been struggling to hear you speak up. Take it over, you won't see this greatness I'm containing. I can't be suppressed. It's a great, like, vocal rider. It always just sits on top and it balances out very nicely. So if we listen to the before and after. Get weaker. I've been struggling to hear you speak up. Take it over, you won't see this greatness I'm containing. I can't be suppressed. So yeah, then what I would do is I'd right click on the mixer channel file and just drag when it says save mixer track state as and it's gonna copy it over. Get weaker. I've been struggling. And then I'm gonna pan these left and right. Get weaker. I've been as if that's what the vocals in this song are supposed to be. I think you don't have to use that, but I think it sounds quite good. And then, and then this is when I would sort of, you know, go in and apply EQs uh, for the very last time. Maybe get rid of, of some imbalances.
Right, and then the next thing that I would do is the reverbs. So I already have reverb send set up on my actual template. And what I do is I just send them in here. So I've got a big vocal reverb for this. I like using Supermassive, which is a free plugin. Um, and for this, I like to use reverbs, medium and massive vocal. So let's send that in. And then what I do is I put on a fruity limiter um, and then I sidechain the vocal into itself. And then whenever the main vocal plays, so I turn down the threshold and the knee and the ratio, whenever the main vocal plays, what's going to happen is it's going to duck the volume of the reverb and then depending on these attack and release settings, it's going to bring it back up when the vocals aren't playing to make the reverb sound a bit less muddy. So yeah, it sounds a bit choppy now, but you've got the whole vocal playing. It does sound pretty good. Uh, the whole track, sorry. Um, so next would be the small vocal reverb. For this, I use a plate plugin. Um, I use the UAD Pure Plate Reverb, uh, which sounds something like this. And that's doing the same thing with a limiter. And then lastly, I have a delay as well, which for this I use H Delay by Waves. And I usually use a quarter note ping pong delay with a bit of the low pass and the high pass turned up as well. I turn the analog off. Keep it 100% wet because it's on ascend. And then, yeah, play about. If I want more echo, I'll turn the feedback up. If I want less of it, turn the feedback down. Um, and then I also just drag this stereo separation uh, knob inwards because I don't really like the ping pong being 100% left and right. I like to have them a slightly bit more narrow. Yeah, when you combine those... Tune is obviously very strong in this vocal. Uh, if you're working with a vocalist and they aren't the best singer, then you probably do want to put a bit more auto tune on. But nowadays, it's less about you know if it's a question that you use auto tune. It's the, it's about the sound that it produces, and most of the time, you know that's something that you might want to go for artistically. So yeah, that's usually how I would process my vocals, regardless of you know if the plugins are free or not. If if it was up to me to mix the, the vocals, this is something that I would do. Um, so we'll get a little before and after. Right, so then let me show you how I would do this with only free plugins and FL stock plugins. So yeah, for this, I'm just going to be using the main vocal. So the first thing I would once again do is bring up that EQ and remove that low end that's in there. Oh, I'll let you down again. I ain't spending my whole life. And then, yeah, once again, I would go in for a compressor. So I'm going to be using probably the Killer Hearts compressor. If you haven't got the Killer Hearts bundle, I would highly recommend it. It is 100% free and you get like 30 or so plugins. Oh, I'll let you. So we're just looking to catch those high peaks again. So I'm going to lower the threshold until just the really loud bits are coming through. And we're going to be in a ratio of about three to four ish. 
So yeah, that's the settings that I've gone for. Next, we'll be doing the de-essing again. So there is actually a preset in Maximus, um, which is called uh, de-esser. And we're going to go for narrowband. Oh, I'll let you down again. And you're basically just looking at this middle band here. And you want to turn this down when the S's are coming through. So, I mean, in this section of the vocal, it's not really apparent. But yeah, this is a free alternative. I would, you know, it's not the best. I would like recommend getting another plugin to do this, but for free, uh, this is what we're going to be doing. And then next, what we're going to do is go in for another EQ to control the balance of the vocal. Oh, I'll let you down again. I ain't spending my whole life. It was quite nasally, so I'm going to re reduce everything around 1k hertz. Oh, I'll let you down again. I ain't spending my whole life trying to make you proud again. I ain't gonna be. And then, if you want a bit more air lifted into your vocals, it's good to boost around 5,000 K hertz and up. Oh, I'll let you down again. I ain't spending my whole life. But yeah, when you're using free plugins, your options are suddenly a lot more limited and you can't get some of those, you know. Maybe that more of a premium sound, although it is still possible. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is maybe if you want to like saturate the vocal a little bit, one thing that you can use is a fruity wave shaper and you can just turn this up. It's basically like a distortion saturation. So if you want a bit more maybe body in your vocal, a bit more of like of a warm tone, then you would probably turn this up. I'll let you down again. I ain't spending my whole life. Now, I mean, if you really want to, I probably wouldn't recommend it. If you want to simulate the sort of can pooch multi band compression vibe, you could always just chuck an OTT on there with like the depth really low and play about the highs and lows. Although, you know, it's not gonna. Oh, I'll let you down again. And then, yeah, lastly, you're just gonna go in with another round of compression. This time we're going to be a bit more gentle with the ratio and the attack and, you know, a lot more release because we want this to, like, ride along with the vocal, so... Oh, I'll let you down again I ain't spending my whole life trying to make Maybe you give some makeup gain again. as well I ain't trying to be no wife I can't spend another day Looking for your ego life And then for reverbs, if you want, like, a longer reverb I'd probably... I still would go for Supermassive, to be honest It's free uh, So that would stay the same And then once again... Oh, I'll let you down again. I ain't spending my whole life. We can use a limiter in the compression section. Lock that volume of the reverb. For a small reverb, you can go for the fruity reverb too, or anything else. It doesn't really matter. Just make sure whatever you do, use the dries zero percent and the wets on a hundred. Oh, I'll let you down again. I ain't spending my whole life trying to make you proud again. And then for a delay, you could go for free delay two, three, whatever you have. Um, you know, there's loads of free delays out there. I'm sure you can find something and find something that you like. Uh, and if you want to go for the ping pong, there is a ping pong setting here. So you want it to be 100% wet. Oh, I'll let you down again. I ain't spending my whole life trying to make... But yeah, that is how I would process my vocals. So I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you're interested in sample packs, mixing and mastering, or one-to-one -one tuition, then you can find more info on the website. Uh, leave a comment with what you want to see on the next video. And with that, I'll catch you guys next time. Bye-bye.